This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. What up, fans? Hope you guys are having the most blessed day of your entire lives. First, I just want to take a second to tell you guys I love you guys. You guys are dope and you guys literally make my day. I had to stay home from work today uh, because I really wasn't feeling well, I hurt my back. And I was like, I tweeted it out and I was bombarded by like get well messages. So thank you guys so much. That's really sweet of you guys. I just wanna say I love you all. Everybody that DM'd me, I am feeling like a lot better. Um, I just, deadlifts really mess with your back and you guys know I hit the gym like twice a day. So that's a lot of deadlifts, all I gotta say. So I'm gonna take it easy a bit and try to recover, but I just wanna say thank you guys so much for being so awesome. Before I get into this video, I need you guys to do the drill. You guys know the drill. Smash that like button, comment down below, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. Not only that, but we are still doing the Odin Athletics giveaway. So go check out Odin Athletics. Go to their Instagram page, comment hashtag giveaway, tell them you're coming from my channel. You guys could win a full Odin Athletics workout suit. They're literally the best company I've ever worked with in my entire lives. So big shout out to them. Go check them out. Show them some love. The reason I was doing this video today is actually I wasn't even um, supposed to record a video or I wasn't supposed to record a scary video today for you guys. But um, I was vlogging earlier today and you'll see that footage shortly. It's uh, me at a, doing a whole bunch of flower stuff for Valentine's Day. We, me and Kazi went around uh, one of the universities in our city handing out flowers to hundreds of people literally hundreds of people and honestly you guys should see the smiles it's the most beautiful thing ever uh, people get really happy when you give them flowers so it's it's great you guys are going to see that video soon um, that's why I have my camera with me right now but I was actually just visiting Emma at Starbucks that's where she works and I'm waiting in line and this woman taps my shoulder and pulls me aside and she's like are you Ali and I'm like yeah Ali what's up and this is like a little old lady like a little hunchback she's wearing a little uh it wasn't a hijab but it was like a little scarf um she looked like one of those like eastern european like ladies that live in their little huts it was she looked adorable and uh she's a little old lady whatever and she starts telling me that she wants to read my do my readings like do my tarot card readings or whatever and she wants to read my palm and i was like what like that's kind of weird um, I've never done that before. And she's like, well, I don't have time to do it now for you, but you should go try to do it online. Um, and she's telling me that people will do that online for you. And I'm like tripped out. I'm like, are you sure? Like, is that not like weird? And I'm like super tripped out with that kind of stuff. Like I don't like Ouija boards, even though we use them. I don't like tarot card readings. I don't like any of that stuff. That stuff scares the crap out of me. Fortune tellers, tarot cards, like none of that stuff. I hate that stuff. It literally scares the bejeebers out of me. Like. Scares me shitless. Um, so she was telling me she should go, uh, that I should go do it. And then she whispered something under her breath and I, I didn't really hear what she said. And then she gave me a dirty look and then it kind of freaked me out. So I'm like, okay, I'm like leaving now. So peace, bye creepy old lady. That was kind of cute, but now kind of evil. So I dipped out of that situation. I came to my car and I'm now recording right now. Um, just to tell you guys what just happened because it, it was so bizarre. Um, and then I found out that you can get apps to um, read your your thing. So Astral Coach, Astral Coach, Astral Couch, Astral Coach. I don't know. I just literally downloaded the first one that I saw. So I figured I would, if I'm gonna do it, I want to do it with you guys. This is my first time doing it. Uh, all right, guys. So first off, I would like to get Siri involved in this. So hey, Siri. Why is she giving me attitude, first of all? Siri, what's a tarot card reading? She says, I'm not sure I understand. Siri! Siri, what is a tarot card reading? Here's what I found on the web for what is a tarot card reading. Oh, it's a tarot card reading. <laughs> Whoops, I'm an idiot. Okay, she's... <laughs> Can you tell me what a tarot card reading is? Okay, I found this on the web for what a tarot card reading is. Okay. In most people's minds, tarot card reading means... 
Okay, so okay, so I just read up on these tarot card readings that Siri gave me, and it looks pretty interesting. Um, I think we should try it out. I am down with it. So I'm opening up the app right now. Okay, guys, so I have the app open right now. I'm going to go to tarot reading. What is a tarot reading? A tarot reading excites many people in the world. Tarot deck is a traditional enemy made up of 78 cards, 22 major arcana, 55 minor. So all just forms of fortune telling, telling known to man. Tarot cards while telling you about today, divine your future. What does it care me? Tell me. Blah, 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 blah. I don't feel like reading all that. So we're just going to hit show tarot. Okay, select seven cards. Um, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. All right, let's see my tarot. Before I show you guys my tarot card reading, I need you guys to smash that like button, comment down below, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and then follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter because I love you guys. And I think you guys kind of like me too, I really hope. Okay, number one card represents your current position. The Queen of Wands card is a precursor of your targets. If it is in the love, it is indicates that you will step take a step further in your relationship that's so weird because me and emma just got engaged sometimes it indicates that one of the partners will take a step to success me and okay so emma's in school and she's almost about to graduate and my youtube channel is doing really well right now it points out that there will be improvements in monetary issues yes more monies expect news or money expecting news or money is on the way oh my god guys that's so weird guys i'm really sorry about my reading because i'm reading this through the uh camera right now all right next card four of cups card indicates your mistakes and opportunities will have four of cups card represents that the material gains do not bring the expected happiness you will be pulled into your shell the good news is that this period is available to review your job or even your lifestyle weird okay so this card represents your mood and its effects on your target this is card number three, guys. King of Swords. King of Swords card tells you life with its humorous and its contradictions. This card also loads you the hypocrisy aspect. King of Swords overcomes all difficulties he has experienced. He makes his decisions in a healthy way based on his experience, honest, neutral. This is so weird because that card literally describes me at this point in my life. Like that card is literally me. That is so weird, right? Is that not weird? Yo, this is too trippy, bro. I don't, I don't know if I can do this. This is so weird. Okay. All right, all right, all right. All right, next card. Number four card emphasizes the effects you will get from Earth. Reversed the world. You are afraid of changes. You are at a period where you prefer a stagnant life. You should take lessons from your life and leave aside your obst obstinacy? Obstinacy? Sorry guys, I suck at reading. Otherwise, everything will be more difficult. Not other people are responsible for everything. Your attempt may fail. Avoid narrow points of views and wrong decisions. Expand. Expanding your visions will bring you the victory. Okay. Alright, I dig this. Card number five mentions how you will react to the people around you. The Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Knight of Pentacles represents a self-centered, stubborn, and obsessive person. Narrow-minded, slow, and careless. If the issue is about money, you should pay attention to the fraud. A stagnant and monotrous era is starting in your life. You may lose your courage. You may experience failure in finding a job, financial damages, and lack of trust. That, guys, that's super scary. That's really weird. Card 6 indicates whether you will reach your goals. Nine of Pentacles. Poverty and loss of stability. It can also point to a great nature event nine of pentacles which also points to the loss of friendship can also be interpreted as the loss of a house you can pay a heavy price for not taking the advice given to you this card in reverse indicates financial difficulty oh wait that's kind of oh yeah this is totally upside down this is gonna be financial difficulty this is scary card seven explains what you should do to reach your goals six of pentacles so this is the reverse of the other one you tend to be financially messy and you can make big debts you should be more thrifty Reverse, Six of Pentacles represents an experience of deception and immortality. This card points to ambition, hatred, jealousy, not being honest in the business life, meekness, envy, and bitterness, especially in the monetary sense. You may encounter difficult negotiations and problems. Oh, that's weird. This is kind of trippy because all of those were weirdly accurate. Like, I'm very bad with money. Like, I tend to spend without thinking. 
but oh that's weird um i'm kind of my mom always told me never to mess with these things things man so i guess we can do the uh the palm reader now okay okay palm reading reveals our personality and character traits and helps us make plans and predictions through the study of shape size and lines of the hands by interpreting the lines we can learn a lot about a person's life love life marriage children business okay you guys are down for a palm reading because i'm down for a palm reading right now um so i gotta take a picture of my palm so i'm gonna take a picture of my palm and then we're gonna read it did the palm reading and it was like you're a very sensitive and timid person you can easily get nervous or excited you have little control over your temper and hence you get into arguments and fights for the smallest reasons you also get hurt by people very easily i'm not gonna say i got a little bit of temper but i'm a little bit hot-headed sometimes i'll be honest i'll be honest i'm a little bit hot-headed um emma can definitely attest to that <laughs> uh because i have gotten into a few scuffles but in my defense i never start fights i don't start fights Okay, but if I see somebody being treated unfairly, I will get mad because I don't believe in unfair treatment and that's not cool. Um, so those are really weird. I'm, I'm kind of shocked at these like tarot card readings. They're like low-key kind of scary and like it's weirdly accurate. Like, like how are these so accurate? Like that's so weird. Ah. Honestly, I'm actually super tripped out. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a nice little quick uh, quick thing for you there. I was always interested in tarot card readings. And I was wondering if like you guys are interested in that. If you guys want me to continue doing these, then I'm more than happy to do them. But yo, that's weird, bro. Like it actually is pretty accurate. I was surprised. Guys, this was super fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button, comment down below, follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. And like I said, don't forget, Odin Athletics is doing a giveaway. They're giving away a full gym suit. That includes pants and shirt, guys. They're literally the comfiest gym suits ever. Like when you work out, you're gonna look like a tank. So check them out on Instagram here and in the description below. So go give them some love, tell them you came from me and hashtag giveaway in their comment section. And I'll see you guys soon, okay? I love you guys so much. Don't ever forget that. Don't ever let anybody try to bring you down. Um, recently, I've, I've I've had to deal with a bit of hate. And you know what? People are haters, you know? Hates. Haters gonna hate. They're just happy that you guys are doing something that they wish they were doing. So you know what? Let them hate, dog. Let them hate. Because at the end of the day, you're you and they're who they are. You know, I get a lot of DMs from people um, who are suicidal, okay? Uh, let's get real right now, okay? I get a lot of DMs from people who are asking for help with suicide. I like, su like they're, they're, they have suicidal thoughts, they're depressed. And all I'm gonna say to you guys right now, to everybody out there that's depressed, and to everybody out there that has suicidal thoughts, you are somebody's reason to smile, okay? I don't care who you are, I don't care who your family is, you guys make somebody smile. Every single one of you make me smile. When I see, if I see one of you go up, on a video that I posted like six months ago, one view, I get excited because I'm like, one person just watched that video. I managed to get a person, a soul watched one of my videos. That makes me happy, okay? So every single one of you that are watching this video, you are somebody's reason to smile because you guys are all my reason to smile. I smile because of every single one of you. So you guys have changed my life. Don't ever think that you guys are insignificant. Don't ever think that you guys mean nothing. Don't ever think that you guys are small on this planet. Sure, this planet is huge, but you are bigger, okay? Your soul is bigger than that. So don't forget that you guys are absolutely amazing. You guys have literally changed my life, okay? Don't ever think that you mean nothing. Don't ever think that suicide is an option. It is never an option. That's quitting and we don't quit. Okay, we're Saiyans. Saiyans don't quit. Suicide should never be an option. There's always a better option. If you are feeling suicidal, take a moment to realize that instead of ending your life, do something that you've always wanted to do instead. If, if, you're, if you're working a shitty job, quit your job and find a job that you enjoy, okay? If you're working at a shitty warehouse that you don't like and you wish you were working at a, at a, at a video game store or you guys wish you were an artist, start drawing some art while working at the, the warehouse. You know what I mean? That way you can do what you want while also making a living. 
that's what I did. I, I work an office job. I'll be honest with you guys. I, I work in an office, okay? I do YouTube on the side. That's why my YouTube videos are kind of like all over the place and I don't really have a set schedule. It's because I work in an office job. I do this part time and I try to upload as many videos as I can and I try to do as much as I can, but I do it because it's something I really want to do. Even though I work in an office job, I need that office job as my main source of income. But don't forget, you guys can do that too. You guys have your main source of income okay have whatever you need to do to get an income and then have something you guys need to do to have fun okay whether you're an artist whether you're a dog walker whether you're a babysitter whatever makes you happy do it okay that's the best advice i can give you do whatever makes you happy if you feel suicidal just remember like people care about you i care about you okay there are suicide hotlines that you guys can call okay please google suicide hotline you guys can call somebody to talk about your depression people care about you you matter you are somebody's reason to smile so stay happy i absolutely love you with all my heart okay literally from the bottom of my heart i love every single one of you literally no lie ask emma i rave about you guys all the time people that draw me pictures i can't tell you how excited i get every single time i see like a random drawing of me online and i'm just like that's me somebody went out of their day to draw me you guys made my day you guys dm me and i try to respond as much as i can and i appreciate every single one of you okay i love you guys all you guys mean the world to me and don't forget that okay again don't ever think you don't mean anything to anybody because you guys mean something to me i love you have a great day peace Feels right.